Are you guys still trying to get this smooth white line in After Effects so your edits don't look choppy as fuck anymore? Well, don't worry, because today we'll show you step by step everything you need to know and how you can do it in After Effects. So to start, I quickly prepared my text and also a clip of Superman. And once you've gotten your text, the first thing that we want to do is add a new solid layer. To do that, go ahead on your keyboard and press Ctrl and Y at the same time. This should bring up this extra window, and we're going to change the color to white. Press OK, and hit OK again. You now should have a full white solid covering your screen, so now we're going to change it to this thin line. To do that, we're going to press onto the newly created solid layer, hit S on our our keyboard and disable this little check mark which is constraining proportions so we can now stretch our layer individually and we're going to set the value from 100 down to 1 as you can see you now have this thin line now we're going to adjust the length of it so just go to where you want it to start and press ctrl shift and d on your keyboard to cut it go to where you want it to end and also press ctrl shift and d to cut it then delete the leftovers so to now make it smaller we're going to go ahead select the layer press s and now turn it down from 100 down to let's say 95 this is just gonna my text and obviously we don't want the white line to just be appearing out of nowhere in the middle of our screen so we're gonna adjust the positioning as well press p on your layer and then just adjust the white positioning till it fits your expectation which is about here for me now next to make this cool fade up animation we're gonna have to add some keyframes so go ahead press s again and set a keyframe for the 95 where you want your animation to be finished which is for me let's say about here then go to the beginning and set the value from 95 down to zero and we're gonna use a simple trick that is gonna make the animation way smoother so just go ahead select both the keyframes right Click, go on to keyframe assistant and hit easy ease. Now if you want to make the animation longer or shorter, you can just select both the keyframes and while pressing down alt on your keyboard, you can just drag the keyframes a bit longer or make them a bit shorter. Now next we're going to add the animation that's going to make the line go up. And to do that, all we got to do is add some positioning keyframes. So click onto your layer, press P, now right click onto position and separate the dimensions. Now again, go to where you want your animation to start and create two keyframes. Now we're going to go to the time and place where your animation is going to be completely finished and adjust the Y positioning until it's above our text, which is for me right here. Now also we're going to add a graph. Now here we're also going to make it way smoother. So we're going to do the same trick again, which is just going to be selecting both the keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant and easy easy. As you can see, we now already have the animation, but our text is somehow still there. And to change that, we're going to add a mask. Now what's really important is that you add the mask onto your text layer and not the solid layer. So be aware of that. And now go ahead, select your text layer and press Q. This is going to bring up this rectangle tool and just draw a mask around your text roughly like that. Now go to where the animation starts and we're going to press M on our keyboard to bring up the mask properties and set a keyframe for the mask path. Note that this is going to be on the same frame where we created the keyframe earlier for the positioning. Go to the same ending keyframe as your positioning fading. Now select the mask by double clicking onto it and just drag it up till you can't see the text anymore, which is about here. Now, as you can see, the text disappears. Now what we're going to have to do next is to match the keyframes of the mask and the positioning so they overlap. So I'm just going to select the keyframes and drag them a bit ahead. As you can see, when we play our clip now, it's perfectly aligned. Now you can also change the setting of the mask a bit to make it look even better. To do that, just select your text layer and press M twice. And now I'm going to put the mask feather up from 0 to 5. And now because we want our line also to be disappearing again, we're going to add the same animation as in the beginning, but reverse. So go ahead, click onto your white solid, press S on your keyboard to bring up the scaling property again, and set a keyframe at your current place where you want your animation to start. And then go to the end and set it to 0 again, from 95 down to 0. And now to give it the final touch, we're going to add some text effects to our white line. So it will look even better. And to do that, we're going to go ahead, click onto the white solid and pre-compose it by pressing Ctrl, Shift and C. Select the bottom option and also enable this check mark. Press OK. Now you can add deep glow, drop shadow, whatever text effects you might like. And now this is what it should look like. <clears throat> you might want to lay off the weed, huh? And you might want to gargle my ball sack. Now the last and most important step is going to be adding a good color correction. Because as you can see, adding a good color correction can increase the quality of your edits immensely. So if you don't want to miss the opportunity on boosting the potential of your edits to the top, make sure to check out the first link in the description because I'm currently still running a huge sale on my shop. So you can get my colorings for up to 70% cheaper. This is a limited offer, so make sure to not miss your opportunity on becoming the best. Now once all these steps are done, you're good to go. You can now render your edit. And if you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe and leave a comment down below telling me what tutorial you want to see next. Also, make sure to check out the first link in the description. As I said, a huge sale. That's not going to be lasting forever. And if you want to talk to me or ask me any questions, make sure to check out my Discord server. We're a huge community of editors who help each other all day. You can just go on there, ask for help or ask me. I'll definitely see you on there. That's it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.